Hello, my fellow human beings, my friends from all over the world. Thank you very much for being here with me. I'm gonna read a summary or yeah, a summary that I've done from a video from the Jamie Price. She has a, a business in um, Arizona. That's where the energetical point of uh, of the earth is, and where everybody that is enlightened goes there. So Melchizedek is there. Everybody that is into spirituality lives there so I follow several youtubers and she's one of them that that she's balanced in uh, in her uh, energies masculine energy and feminine energy and uh, and that's what I search I search for people that um, they can tell you uh, they can they can teach you something from a very loving point of view without being cold and they use words uh, empowering, loving, caring, leadership words. And that's what I'm searching for, that uh, they resonate with me. Okay? So, thank you very much. And I will go now to the reading. Okay? So, what she says is that we are in the year of freedom. Okay? We are in the year of the empowerment so sovereignty. And that is creative, emotional, intellectual, and spiritual sovereignty, okay? The interactions are much more loving, connecting, because of our inner realm. And that's, the inner realm is where our freedom is. So, free of addiction, free of, of conditioning, okay? You, you are just free to tap into your, in, into your um, intuition, to your sovereignty, to your to your heart, okay, you are living in the moment, okay, your vibrational information has been shifted in this year, okay, and that's true because of the, all the aligned uh, um, planets that have, uh, there was this conjunction 19 years ago, others 35 years ago, and when I see the, the, the timeline of my life, I can recognize those points, so for me, it, it, it uh, and I've analyzed my part of my astral ma map and numerology, it tells a lot to me and I really feel it, okay? Whatever you see here, witness, observe, is assimilated into your energetical structure. It's your decision, what you do with that information once it is within you, okay? Your inner realm, where your freedom is, is where the action is. It's your new perception, your choices. Do, do you change or are you going to choose to love in that moment? Maybe you have a time of forgiveness or understanding. Something better holding boundaries in a new way. Okay? This is shifting your energetical information so that it is more loving. And that inner realm is where your true freedom is. It's on that moment that you decide um, how to react or to respond. Don't forget there is a difference between reacting and responding reacting is from your unbalanced um, unconscious beliefs and responding is when you take a pause you control you understand and control your thoughts your emotions and then you act okay this is basically doing this shift is to, to do a, tra uh, a shift in, in paradigm how you see the perception okay as I've already uh, explained in other videos is that the way you perceive the reality, um, the more accurate and less distorted, uh, the easier it is, it, and it is in unison in your, with your thoughts, feelings, emotions, and actions, you will be able to manifest much faster, okay? And that's what they call the timelines are going to um, uh, crash, okay? Because that when when it's talk about timelines, they are talking about it's the prediction. Okay, so your actions are going to give a separate a certain prediction, but the more you shift this information, it's uh, you jump start. Okay, your inner action leads to your different interaction with life, so that choices you are making, that's where your true freedom is. It is this is why we focus on those internal changes, so that we are actually. I have no idea we're actually um, creating a, a greater freedom within it has been moving so fast lately it it will continue to enjoy these peaceful moments because they are powerful 
when you have that patience that creates more peaceful moments and the way you are interacting with life with an openness and grounded pow pow power okay so basically you are not going to allow yourself to be um, influenced by negative energies so by by having healthy boundaries you only allow uh, or you filter only um, the things uh, that give you that give you more energy okay and it is very smart to to see the summary that I did about the toxicity and the consequences of the social media because social media is a, is a vehicle uh, through conditioning that affects your your healthy boundary so if you can stop and withdraw uh, social media cannot affect you anymore okay? uh, open to healing new changes exciting movement forward this is th that is what this time is offering us a lot of movement so basically we are going to learn by spirit okay learning more things using last time okay understand the invisible much better there will be a new identity deeper understanding of your innate divinity okay we are creators we create our reality by aligning our thoughts your emotions our feelings and our actions okay expanding your powerful as you are using your infinite mind to see what to see that broader perspective that you start seeing clues of the universe of life responding to your empowerment loved more synchronicities will be occurring you start following your intuition move, move uh, into your intuition more you become more aligned with your powerful flow yes you just need to be in order to see the coincidences you need to be in the moment if you're not in the moment you won't be able to see it okay and synchronicity is information okay remembering your secret divinity that is always has been within you but now you are bringing it into your health experience this is the power of love opening you up to new potentials that you are preserving new possibilities with your mind you are utilizing those universal laws merging them into physical experience more directly and more consciously i just had a deja vu amazing huh what future do you want to connect to? Which timeline do you want to be part of? Start within you. Okay, so uh, with this new moon that just happened two days ago, um, you can, it's, um, some call it black moon, other call it something else. And it's an energy that uh, it's going to, your visualizations are going to be for long-term relationships, businesses. So be very much aware what you're doing. I've done videos about that, um, especially how to do the focus wheel, right? On my specially, I've put joy everywhere. So in every house of my astral map, I want to, I want to experience joy, and to be in very high vibrational uh, standpoint. Okay. And for that, I need to. To have around me people that uh, they might be different because of course the masculine energy does things differently but we have to share the same vision okay internally and externally okay as above so below or as below as above okay love broadly a lot of divine feminine love amplification more potential nurturing space that allows new firm to grow what does I love broadly really mean Take information into yourself and you are more aligned with your infinite self. Your love becomes dominant in your life. You see it in your experience. You will still have um, upper hand in the 3D. Authentic love has those up and downs. As we move through the 3D, right? And expansion. We are still in density, blending with physical love well true but if we understand that um, everything is incorporeal incorporeal we just perceive it as solid because we all vibrate the my version of my hands they cannot merge because they are different so that's why i pref i perceive them separately but if we understand quantum physics we are all one okay my energies affect everybody else's energies okay but this is this anchoring is about these universal laws being applied 
here in the 3D, excuse me. When challenges come when challenges come up and you notice something that is causing feeling of imbalance or lack of love, there is movement. That is when you choose how can you love broadly in this moment. It might be an action, it might be some tears of relief, it might be a civil act. I do not know the solution yet, but I know I love love is offering me the potential and I will hold that potential love within me and nurture its manifestation. So basically you have to surrender to what is. Okay? You just ask what you want from the universe and the universe will put it in your lap. Okay? You don't, you only need to get ready emotionally, energetically, spiritually and creatively to that to accept it, to receive it. That's it. Okay? So this challenge experience coming up, how can you find new perception that will manifest through time and that will help that love anchor here. This challenge is helping us to learn stand, to stand up for, for ourselves and to learn to stand up for others. How it is that challenge bringing more love here? How can I love broadly in this moment? Okay. Help to support more of that inner alignment. And as you are anchoring infinite self, ask yourself, am I loving myself unconditionally in this moment? When you have challenges coming up and anger rise up and you ask yourself how can I love more broadly in this moment, focus on your internal experience and I am loving myself unconditionally in this moment. It creates an environment of unconditional love within you. That's what freedom, freedom truly is, empowerment, is when there is something negative and you decide to love yourself unconditionally and behave to the highest best self. Am I loving myself unconditionally in this moment? With self-respect, integrity. Okay. Be patient when those emotions are up. It's not intention instantly start feeling unconditional love. It's practice. Okay. Love sometimes is nurturing yourself through the pain. It will be okay in that moment. You are angry because as you allow to be okay, you're nurturing that transfer transformation. And you don't stay angry because you are allowed to resolve in a new solution. Well, you have to use the masculine and the feminine energies, okay? And the more balanced you are in the feminine and masculine energies, it is easier to go to through this process. So you have to talk to your inner child, to those triggers and those wounds and uh, have an inner conversation using the masculine energy with empathy so the masculine energy is listening to you to the inner child company and the feminine energy is um, nurturing the inner child and those triggers okay? by loving yourself unconditionally you connect yourself energetically to the new potential this is the power of love you are waving new energetical structures within yourself. As you, as you are unconditional, you become a new infinite wellspring of love. Yes, you have more light within you, and the more light you have, um, the more love you have. And there is also, um, I saw a very nice video explaining how the inter uh, electrons move, they have more power within yourself. Okay? Which storyline are you connected to? These are the timelines that I've already previously explained. Your storyline is waving an energetical structure, holding you, holding your story, your storyline, and forming it in certain ways. Family, okay? Who you are, letting go with binding. This is the year of freedom, neutralizing a structure that keeps you open to change. Your whole experience is to create consistency. You do not notice because you are shifting in a new timeline. This is why internal information is so important. Help us to release what is binding us. This is actually um, explaining um, that we are un uh, subconsciously or in our unconscious um, freeing ourselves from addiction and conditioning of the society and what, from what our parents told, told us in order to be able to create a new reality. And for that, we need to detach, to cut cords with the past and live in the moment to create a better future, okay? 
And with this, I finish this video. Thank you very much for listening to me. Comment, like, subscribe, boost the donations. Um, for the email for the donations. I thank all the donations that have been given. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye.